Did you know that these Apancha pads are actually stem segments? Stems can look quite different across various plant species. They can be herbaceous and flexible, woody and form a trunk. They can come in the form of pads like in the previously mentioned Opancha, or they can be hollow like in grasses. By the way, the grass stem is called a culm. Stems provide a structural support for the plant, and you can imagine the stem as a sort of an axis to which other plant organs like flowers and leaves are attached. Inside the stem are vascular bundles, which are crucial for the transport and distribution of water, minerals and products of photosynthesis within the plant. Speaking of which, green stems contain chlorophyll and can thus participate in photosynthesis. Saguaro cactus, for example, likes leaves and all the photosynthesis processes happen in the stem. Even though we usually look for the stems above the ground, we can find them underground as well, in their modified form, where they serve other functions, mainly energy storage. In some grasses, for example, we can find rhizomes. Ginger, by the way, is a rhizome too. Or probably the most famous stem modification would be a tuber, such as a potato. What other stem modification do you know about? 